Danny a tuning result. How does that feel? Yeah, obviously we're uh, we're over the moon. We 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 were criticised a little bit for our point away on Tuesday, but when you when you have performances like we did on Tuesday, this this and I've mentioned that to you previously. It's, it's stuff you can build on, and there's two clean sheets in a row again. Um, I thought we was defended really well today, and if we was a little bit tidier, we could have scored five or six. I think some of the chances we created, but. Um, we, we, we wanted to get a foothold, we wanted to be solid first half, we wanted to make sure that we, we nullified anything they brought to the table and we did that and then second half we, we stepped it up again and the credit to the boys, they got everything they deserved. But this, this is a very hard working group and when you, when you do that every now and again you're going to have bad games and we get that but then we, we always put good performances and I think well, despite the fact that we lost at Harrogate, Harrogate was a good performance, it's three good team performances in a row and it's four more points on the board in the last five days so we're pleased. And you mentioned defensively we're starting to step up, that's our second success in the sheet now, how important it is to make sure we're ready at the back as well as going forwards. Yeah it's, it's a real tough balancing act at this level because when, when you've got, like you look at some of these Premier League clubs and when you've got the resources and even some of the clubs in our league to be fair, when you've got the resources that they've got you can invest heavily in both areas and and if someone's not doing it, they just go and get somewhere else. I mean, you look at the likes of Solly Hole and teams like that. I mean, I think they've got five or six centre forwards on their books. Every time someone doesn't do it, they just go and get another one. Um, we have to work hard and we have to train hard. And, and we we went to Bromley and we scored three great goals away from home. And I think on any other day, that would have got you a win. But we conceded four. So we've had to look at it and we've had to work on it. And we've conceded one in, um, in three. We've scored two. And it's, it's a solid platform to build from. And you made a slight formation change as well, going 4-4-2 rather than 3 5 two, like it was on Tuesday. What was the thinking behind that? We just, we looked, we're looking at what's going to suit us against the opposition that we're playing. And I mean, I think you asked me after the Harrogate game about us playing 3 5 two against Bournemouth. That suited us against them. And today that suited us against Maidenhead. And we're fortunate we've got quite a... Um, Diverse group of players that we can we can adapt formations and systems of play and not really and it can be quite smooth and I thought the lads were outstanding today. Work ethic was was top draw. Because it made two changes as well with Santos and Chisler coming back in. Was yeah. Well. well, you look at well, one thing I did say after the Bournemouth game. I thought we lacked a bit of cre creativity. Although we defensively we looked excellent, we lacked a bit of creativity. And one thing those two definitely bring to the table is creativity. So and we're at home. Fans don't want to see us. We didn't go to Bournemouth to get a nil-nil draw. We went there to win. But there comes a time in a game, same as Harrogate, where you have to look at it and think this could be a good way point. So, but now here, here at home, we want our creative players doing what they do best, and they did that today. And it was two substitutes as well that finished two goals for us. I'm to make sure they're ready. Planned every minute of it. That's exactly what we meant to do. Um, <laughs> now look, they come on. They, we, we ask players to, to. It's a squad game, and, and I think I've said to you on potentially on Tuesday about Eddie Jones and changing players roles within the team and we do that with a purpose of when they come on the pitch to bring something different to what we already had and I thought both did that um, and Alfie actually it's quite funny because the first bit does goes wrong for him but the type of character Alfie is he keeps going and he gets it he earns his one I'm so pleased for him it's been tough for him because he works so hard and he's been waiting for his chance and his opportunity and he, he got it today and he, he, he finished really well Harrison as well, in fact, with his duty from the first goal. How great is it to see him back in the Oxford shirt? Yeah. yeah, I mean, he's again, he's another one he's had to bide his time a little bit because um, I think the work ethic of Mo and Sham in the last two games has been superb. And I think they, Sham today, I mean, he, he could just barely walk when he come off the pitch. And I think that when you're not scoring as a centre forward, if you're, or if you're not scoring in the game, what else do you bring to the table? And he brought a really good shift today. And But then you know you've got the quality of Harrison coming on the pitch. It's it's, it's, a, it's a delight for a manager. It's, what, it's horrendous when you look at the bench and think oh, there's nothing that's going to change the game for you. We're fortunate. We've got a great team, great team, great squad. The bench was strong, so we, we knew we had options. Shamarancy appeared to pick up a slight knock. Is there an update on there? No, uh, to be honest with you, we've, uh, we, we, we're all dancing to one direction in there, so we haven't really even spoken to a physio. But they've put on my favourite song, History. I um, don't know if you know it. I'm not singing it. Um, but yeah, no, we, we, we'll have a chat with a physio. Let, let, let the lads enjoy it. And the last thing I need to be told is they're going to be out for months on end. If they're not, they're fine. Dead leg and a little bit of a. Little bit of a I think he just wanted to come off to get a round of applause, but we'll see. We've got a bit of a break now. Dagenham game on the 16th. I'm yeah. to make sure we're ready for that in two weeks' time. Yeah, I mean, I, I, this 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 club. I think sometimes you, you look at 
competitions and stuff. Our next game's on Tuesday night in the Hampshire Cup, and we want to win it. We want to win. We want to win every game we play, and so we'll, we'll be putting a strong team out against them. So we're not even thinking about Dagenham yet. We're thinking about uh, Money Fields on Tuesday.